Hola clase, ¿cómo están? Aquí estoy en mi clase. Estoy tan contenta de salir de la casa y estar en mi clase. Pero la clase está vacía. Nadie está aquí y estoy muy triste. Pero, está bien. Um, we're going to do a full review of the preterite. Okay, you have a test on Monday and I cannot keep you from using your notes. You can use notes, okay? Um, I'm gonna help you, in fact, organize those notes, but you will have a window of time to work on the test. You also will have, um, you will not get feedback on your test until everyone has taken it. You will not see what answers were wrong. You will not see what answers were right. You probably won't even see your grade because there will be parts of it that I will have to um, will have to check, will have to grade, okay? You will be timed. You don't have all day to work on it. Once you start your test, you're gonna have about 45 minutes um, to work on it and that's it. So you need to be um, prepared to sit down and work on that, okay? Um, I've been praying for you guys. I've been praying for your integrity. I know that you have each other at the end of, your, of the phone, you have um, unlimited resources to help you with things, but I've really been praying that you guys are feeling convicted to do your best and be your best um, during this crazy online session. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, break down and organize the imperfect, all right? You know that the imperfect, I'm sorry, listen to me. Preterite, this is about preterite, right? Preterite is scalp. It's everything that happened once and boom, it's done. Okay, next week, it's all preterite versus imperfect for a week. Then we read Vivel Toro. Okay, so just preterite because it's conjugations are nuts, right? So we need to think about the, um, the conjugations. We started with regular, okay? And then we added the spell issue of Kargarzar. Then we added the spell issue. You can't see that too well, can you? We added the spell issue of I to Y downstairs. Um, I'm gonna pause this and close my windows. I think that might help. Okay, I'm gonna try and use a darker pen, see if that helps too. Um, the fourth thing was the stem changers that go E to I and O to U downstairs. And the last um, is our totally irregular, our totes, irregs, okay? And within them, we have subcategories as well. So the thing that makes the preterite so hard is the conjugations. Imperfect is so easy, right? Aba, ia, and three irregulars. Preterite is nuts. So we've spent a lot of time, all semester practically, um, working on this. And so, oh, I'm getting a phone call. Who that is oh well um, so we have been working um, all semester on this and uh, it's not going as well as I'd like it to so really think about what you're doing all right regular AR verbs get a aste o amos aron er and ir e iste Yo, some of you are still putting the accent mark on the I. That's um, imperfect, not preterite. Emos. You know how many of you are saying we ate and you're telling me comemos? Comemos is we eat. Comimos is we ate with an I. I emos. Be careful. Comieron. Right? Regular. Uh, yo hablé con mi familia. Nosotros bailamos. Los estudiantes estudiaron. Okay, easy, basic stuff, all right? Next issue is the Kargarzar. These are spell changes only in the yo, yo only, right? C becomes Q-U with that E ending. The gar verbs become G-U-E with the uh, E accent mark ending, and the Z becomes se, and it's only in the yo. Right, so I ate lunch with my friends, yo almorcé. Um, we all ate lunch together, almorzamos, goes back to the Z, right? Yo llegué a tiempo, pero tú llegaste, with an A, tarde, whatever it might be, right? Okay, 
uh, spell change only in the yo. Now, these next two categories are issues in what we call downstairs, the L and the ellos. Of course, the L, ella, usted, ellos, ellas, ustedes, the third person, both singular and plural. You had a translation activity for me, some of you, it's like you didn't even watch the video. And you might not even watch this video, I don't care. But you're missing out on what you're supposed to be doing. So I encourage you to uh, learn, improve, enhance, get better, okay? So you gotta follow that along. E to I, or I'm sorry, I to Y, is our three vowels in a row issue, like leer and caer and oir. Remember, with these, it's not just that the uh, y is the downstairs le yo and le yerdon, but it's also um, added accent marks, right? Leiste, leimos, um, need accent marks as well. That is an issue for oir, uh, leer, and uh, creer, and Caer, caíste. So it's not caíste, it's caíste. Caímos, okay? E to I downstairs. Just taught on this earlier in the week. Has to be an IR verb and has to be a boot in the present. If it's not those two things, not an issue. Pensar, no big deal. It's not piense, it's pensé. Um, what else? Like um, our verbs like almorzar, um, o to you, acostar, we are not going to change any of that. Not o custo, it's hard to even think of, right? Not going to do that. These are IR only and boot only. I've given you a list of them. Um, divertirse is a big one. Um, this means to have fun, okay? Tener divertido is not a thing, okay? You can't do that. This is to have fun. He had fun is di, I'm sorry, I was thinking in the present tense. Divierte, say divierte is he has fun. It is an e to i e boot verb, but in the preterite, it's only e to i. Divertio, say divertio with an i, okay? Same as the eos form for those. All right, the last part, if you guys can see this well, I hope, the last part is our totes irregs. We sang a song. Teneres tu ve, estares tu ve, iris wi también ser, poneres pu se, poderes pu de, trajeyes para traer, hacer y se, a ver, uve, saber supe querer quise, decir dije, venir vine, ver mi dardino acentos. Okay, but your test did not prove that you learned anything from that song. So, um, the endings, for these are different, okay? Except Dardi. Dardi, Bear, and Dar, they're their own thing. V, V, Ste, V, O, V, Mos, Vierdon. But these Totsi regs, these are their endings now. A, Iste, O, Imos, Ierdon. And these have stem changers that go all the way through. U stem changers like um, Pu, Se, Pu, De, um, what else goes you? Tuve, estuve, and supe, right? I stems that have an I all the way through, like e say and ki say and vine. The I goes all the way through. Sorry, that's an S, ki say. Okay, I know you can't see that real well, but hopefully um, you already know what I'm talking about. This is just review. So if you need help, um, you can you can contact me. Um, and then we have what I call J stems. And the deal with the J stem is we have to drop the I in the Ierdon, right? And we have desir and we have trier that do that. And it becomes dije, dijiste, etc. cetera, uh, trajo, trajiste, et cetera. So you've got five categories of ways to conjugate verbs in the preterite. Make some notes, take some notes, look at the big picture, comprehend what you're doing so you can do well on um, Monday's test, okay? I miss you guys like crazy. I hope you're doing well, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Adios.